Yo, what up guys? I'm Elric and today we have the best PC mods you've ever seen. Today's video is made possible by Hulu Plus. For a free extended two week trial period, head over to huluplus.com forward slash TOT. So check this folks. Hopefully this is the first of what will turn into many other videos just like this. If you guys like this type of video and you guys want us to do more, you guys can show us by clearly going insane on that like button. Now, our main idea for this to take it and let it evolve is that eventually we can actually go to the people that are doing all these mods, visit with them and film their system in person. For now, as we get the ball rolling, get those wheels just moving, we're gonna show you five of the coolest that we were able to find on the web. First up, Damnation by Jacob Hildenbrandt. Now this baby dates all the way back to 2009. I was inspired by the Western inspired shooter from back in the day, Damnation. We're going back in time for the specs and it featured an Intel Core i7-965 CPU, 12 gigs of DDR3 RAM, hmm, we're still on DDR3, it's been a long time, an X57 motherboard, a dual Radeon 4870 in crossfire mode, and a one terabyte hard drive. Now you guys can see this thing in my eyes is totally like steampunk. I think it's totally badass, all that copper, and when I think of it, it just totally reminds me of steampunk stuff. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Next up is the Iron Man helmet mod. Now this thing's made by Franco Warboy Martinelli and it's basically, well obviously, Iron Man's head. And for me, one thing I've always wondered about. Now, when Iron Man's inside of that suit, doesn't he get really sweaty balls? Just saying. Now this beauty was created to pay tribute to Iron Man. And no, I'm not talking about the Black Sabbath song. This thing was built from scratch and made entirely by hand, which I have to say is pretty damn impressive, including the helmet. The base was created by just an old APX PC case Franco had lying around. And by the end of the project, you'd have never guessed that's what it was. We couldn't dig up too much as far as the specs go or parts goes, but regardless, this is one amazing looking PC. What I really like about this thing though, I have to say is the attention to detail. Jarvis on the side, all the cool elements about it, the helmet on top, and think about this. This guy made this thing entirely by scratch, by hand. That in itself is a thumbs up in my eyes. Now this next one is for the despicable me fans out there. And no, I'm not gonna sing the happy song. Well, all right, maybe just a little. Well, I'm happy. All right, shh. Well, anyways, check this out. This guy named Ronnie Mods has created this total minion PC mod. Now, this thing's totally cool, and I don't know about you guys, me, myself, I can always use an extra minion. Now, this little slave to the system was made off the Cooler Master Cosmos 2, and it's a totally fully functioning minion PC. The attention to detail from the paint job to the eye and goggle to the teeth to the real jean cloth are incredible. Now this little minion can seriously tear up some games too. Featuring an Intel Core i5-4670K, MSI Z87 M-Power Max motherboard, MSI R9-270X Hawk video card, 8GB of Kingston HyperX 2400MHz RAM, and a Kingston HyperX 3K 120GB SSD. For those folks who are interested in the complete parts list, I'll have those down below the like button, so make sure you check that out. Next up, Flife of Prodigy. This sweet looking little PC was modded by Frost Mod and is based off the Bitphoenix Prodigy case. It features a beautiful Asus Republic of Gamers logo on the front and two amazing looking hot rotted side panels that flap out like wings. It also features an Asus Maximus 6 Impact motherboard, Asus GTX 670 Mini, an Intel i5-4670K, Crucial Ballistics Elite memory, and a Kingston HyperX 3K 120GB SSD. It seems like all the modders are really digging on Kingston. Now this mod is obviously for those people who like their systems very compact. Not really a lot you can do on something that small, but this guy still took the effort and the time to make something cool. The Flight of Prodigy. Now next up is the Green Manalishi. Now, I know the Green Manalishi because growing up, that was one of my favorite Judas Priest songs, you know? Now you're the Green Manalishi with the two-prong crown. While my driving is up, while you're bringing is down. Now this bad boy was modded by Mr. Hanover Fist. Now, I don't know if any of you guys remember the movie Heavy Metal, but Hanover Fist was one of the characters in the movie. He was this guy who was working for this crazy general guy 
who was basically kind of a total, you know, prick. And basically, as soon as the guy got his money, he changed. Leave a comment down below if you remember the movie and tell me what happened. The Green Man Alishi was made off a Fractal Design Arc Mini R2 case that features quite possibly one of the most amazing paint jobs PC modding has ever seen. The radiator, fan, and pumps are absolutely jaw-dropping. I'm having a Jim Carrey from the mask moment. It's rocking Gigabyte's G1 Sniper 5 motherboard, an Intel i7-4770K, two EVGA GTX 770s in SLI mode, a 1000 watt EVGA G2 power supply, and 16 gigabytes of G-Skill Sniper 2133 MHz memory and Lamtron cooling. I just have to say that the build logs and everything about this are like off the table type of shit. This guy is like a modder who takes stuff beyond the norm, I gotta say. Hand over fist, you get thumbs up from Tech of Tomorrow. So all right, folks, I hope that you guys had as much fun watching this video as we did filming. And if you did, the way to show us is by going completely ape shit on that like button. Can we get 10K in likes? Let's see if we can. By the way, I want to give a special shout out to Hulu Plus for making today's video possible. I know that most of you folks out there know what Hulu is, but Hulu Plus is basically like taking a plain old boring white PC case and painting that bad boy to a custom level. And I don't know if you guys have heard this or not, but they've recently inked out an awesome deal to show every episode of South Park. And this also includes all the new episodes, which is just like sprinkles on the icing. Hulu Plus works on your computer, smart TV, Roku, Apple TV, Xbox, pretty much any streaming device you already own. And check this out. Say it's one of those moments when you've got, you know, number two, you can even watch it in the john. Normally, the trial period is only seven days, but for you, Tech of Tomorrow fans, it's extended to 14 days. So that's 14 days of free Hulu Plus for you to check out and see if you like it, just by going to huluplus.com forward slash TOT. So that about wraps up today's video, folks. Now, if you guys like this type of video, we really, really want to know, because if you do, we'll continue making this type of style for you folks. So, like I said before, hit that like button, leave a comment, Comment. If you like what you see here on the channel and you want to be subscribed, hey, we'll have a little thing up here where you can subscribe to the channel and see my pretty face in your inbox. I'm Elric. I'm out of here.